Hi everybody, Donna Salazar here for Gel Press. Today I am going to show you some techniques using the petite set. There's three in the set. There's a circle, a square, and a triangle. I hadn't really played very much with the petite sets until I went to the Gel Press Academy. And at the Gel Press Academy, a whole world opened up to me. I started playing with it and I fell totally in love with it. And I created a um, an apron for CHA. And this is the apron. And I absolutely fell in love with these. So I'm going to show you some techniques and some fun stuff that you can do with them. And I hope that you enjoy. I made these in Photoshop on my computer and printed them out on the Hammer Mill Laser Color Copy Paper. And these will be available for you to download if you would like. And all I did is just print them out so that these will be my guidelines for where to put the plate so I can do the initial print and the ghost print. And you'll see as I start doing the um, techniques how that comes into play. So these are Stencil Girl stencils and I'm using acrylic paint and I did the initial print and then the ghost print. So now I'm adding more paint. It's another uh, Stencil Girl stencil. And the initial print and the ghost print. Adding more paint. And that is um, latch hook rug material. More paint. This is an embossing folder. And shelf liner. So the initial print and ghost print again. More paint. And actually there was too much there, so I started over and took some of it off. So I bared over it and used shelf liner again and got the initial print and ghost print. And another stencil girl stencil with shelf liner. And this is the first finished print. So for this one, I'm not going to do several different prints. I'm just going to do one. I'm doing the, I've got paint on the plate and then I put the stencil over and use some bubble wrap over that. There's quite a bit of paint on here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show four different prints from this one application of paint. And so this is the one that I have a strip of circles. And so I'm moving it around. I've got the first print, the first ghost print, a second ghost print, and a third ghost print. Now I'm going to be using the uh, three inch square plate. And I just brayered over a stencil and I'm adding using different stencils and paint. So the purple one was a stencil with bubble wrap. And now I'm going to be using some phthalo blue with an embossing folder doing the initial print and ghost print. Actually two ghost prints. Another stencil brewing over it. And it's a really messy print and that was what I was going for. Now I'm cleaning it off because I'm switching to a color that isn't compatible with the blue. So um, there are times when you're going to want to clean off your brayer. And I'm using an embossing folder. And I'm actually going to do four prints from this one. Now I'm going to use the three inch triangle. I've got a stencil and um, bubble wrap. The initial print and ghost print. Adding paint over a stencil. Now paint first and then another stencil over with a little bit of shelf liner. You could actually do the whole thing monochromatic just with different patterns if you'd like. So adding paint over a stencil. And I got three prints off of that one. Paint first, then the embossing folder. Paint first, and then a stencil, and then bubble wrap. And I'll get three prints off of this one, even though the last one's really faint. Now the stencil first, paint over it. The initial print and ghost print. Paint first, then the stencil, then using some shelf liner through it. 
And I'm going to switch colors again, so I'm going to clean off the brayer. Then I'm going to add paint over a stencil. And one last one, stencil first, then the paint. And now this one is going to be done. And this is the last one. It is the strip of triangles. I put the stencil down, then added the paint, but there was paint on the back of the stencil, which is a bonus. This one, again, the stencil is first, adding the paint over it. And there was a little bit of color on that one. The stencil first, adding the paint over it. And I am going to be a little bit more monochrome on this one. And then the last color is a thalo blue with an embossing folder. And it's done. And this is what the finished prints look like. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope that you liked these tips. And I'll see you on Saturday when I show you the project that I do with the prints that I made today.